Hello guys, welcome to this new training video. This is Ahmed Al-Zaiz speaking to you of Forex Trading Signal. In this video guys, today we're gonna go to continue to explain the harmonic chart patterns and we're gonna go to discuss today the Gartley button. In the previous video, we have discussed the ABCD button and in this video, we will discuss another button which is the Gartley button. So stay with us please, we will start in a moment. Alright, welcome back to this video. So what does the harmonic chart button mean? We have already spoken about that in the previous video. So just to recap guys, we have spoken about the person who has found and developed those buttons, the harmonic buttons, and he is Mr. Gartley. And that buttons were based on the Fibonacci extensions and retracement. So in the previous video, we have explained about the ABCD button and we have taken the bearish and the bullish buttons. So in this video today, we're going to go to discuss and explain the Gartley button, which is almost similar to the ABCD in the concept and the movement. However, in this time, we're gonna go to see that the shape will be either W or the letter M. So this is the button, guys. This is the bullish button. So that means when I have the letter M shape, that means that is the bullish button. So after forming the point D, we're gonna go to have an entry from here. Then we are expecting the price to go up. Then this is the bearish pattern, which is similar to the letter W. And it's a bearish one. That means when we form or complete the point D, then we are expecting the price to go down. So that is our entry and the price will go down. So this pattern was the first pattern developed by Mr. Gartley and that's why the name of this button called Gartley. However, we still have bad button, the crab button, the butterfly button and the cipher button. And in this video, we are only taking the Gartley button. So how does this work and how we can draw this and how we can read the Gartley button? So the Gartley button, if I want to take the bullish example of it, so this is the button so you can see there is a wave going up starting from this point then a retracement or a pullback then second wave then a retracement and a pullback then this is the entry point then we go long trade then we are achieving our target so how we can draw this and how we can trade it so Starting from the point X and the point X mean it is any location on the chart where the price has started to go up or down. If you remove this wave from here and you just look into the chart or the button starting from this point, you will see that here there is A, B, C, D. And this is what we have explained last time during our explanation about the ABCD button. However, in addition to that, we are adding the point X and that point should be any point on the chart. So point X, it's the starting point and you can see that the price is moving up now i have reached an area which is forming a resistance and now we say that the resistance area is an area of the price where the price has reached the maximum or the highest level and could not break above it and formed for me a triangular head so now we call this the resistance area is point a now from x to A, we don't have any condition, we don't have anything related to that wave, so it can be any amount, it can be any distance. So however now there is point B here, from A to B we got a condition and that condition based on the Fibonacci retracement. So if I measure from point x to a and i put the hundred percent on the point x and the zero percent on the point a then this a to b 
formation has to fall in between 61 retracement and the 78.6 retracement so this wave from a to b has to cross the 61 percent and should not cross 78.6 percent so in other meaning this has to be in between these two levels so that's why we have added the point x so the point x is added and the purpose for the point x is to take it as a measurement point for the point a and b because we want to measure from x to a to come up with the a to b wave or retracement so this is now fibonacci retracement from point a bound and this is has to cross the 61 percent and should not cross the 78 percent now we have another point which is having another condition and that is the point b to c when i measure the area from a to b when i measure this wave it has to be the retracement of that wave and this can be measured by putting the Fibonacci retracement level 100% on the point A and the Fibonacci retracement level 0% at the point B. So I am measuring this wave and I am measuring the P to C retracement out of this wave. So this wave has to be within 38.2 percent has to cross it up and should not exceed the 88.6 percent so if i put my fibonacci on the point a and b and i measure this retracement here this should be within the 38.2 percent and should not cross 88.6 percent so we call this the point B and C, and this is how it is we're forming. Now, the last one will be the point D, and the point D will be measured by again measuring the wave X to A. And when we add a Fibonacci level, the 0% at the point A and the 100% at the point X, we should have the point D formed on the 78.6 the moment i hit 78.6 retracement that is our entry point here and we can still continue to make entry until we reach 100 percent from the x to a and as long as you are within 78.6 to 100 percent retracement that is okay to have a trade from there so we have no issue with that so that is our entry point now if you can see that the button has been formed and that is all based on the Fibonacci retracement so if you see now on the chart the only difference between the a b c d button it is only the x a wave so however this button is similar to the a b c d button which we have explained last time and we are adding only this wave on it so if you look into it also it's forming like the letter m and this is the bullish version of it so now if i want to speak about the target so those are my entry from the area d and i can go up to 100 percent then after that my target take a profit number one will be at this level at resistance area b take a profit number two will be at resistance area c and take a profit number three will be at resistance area point a so this is my target level and this is my bullish virgin button so similarly guys you can apply these on the bearish button so the bearish button it is just an inverted button upside down and that will be look like the letter w however this button the bullish button it looks like the letter m so this is how we can draw and how we can trade this button guys so finally guys if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and share this content with your friend this is ahmed lazizawa speaking to you thank you for watching this and see you in next training video